Good morning. Good morning. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. Fit and fine. Enjoying at home. Also doing your homework. Very good children. Very nice. I know you all are becoming very intelligent. Studying. Yes. Okay. So good morning and welcome in your EBS class. Today, we will start a new topic of the same chapter that is, this is the video number 4 of chapter number 7. Chapter number 7, video number 4. Okay? So, in this video, we are going to learn about how to clean air. Okay? Clean air. The topic is clean air. So, before this children, you tell me what we have done in the previous video. We have learned about the uses of air. Means how, in, in what things the air is used. Correct? In what things the air is used. But in this video, we are going to learn that how to keep the air clean. How to keep the air clean. Okay? So, to begin this topic... You all know that air is very important for us. All living things, all living things including plants, animals, birds, insects, everyone. They all need air to live. Without air we cannot live. See children, um, we can live without food and without water for some time. Okay, but we cannot live without air for a few seconds also. Yes, this is correct. We can live without <coughs> food and water for some time. Okay, but we cannot live without air for a few seconds. Because if we will not breathe air, we will die. Yes, we will die. So for us, for human beings, for plants, for animals, air is very, very, very important. Okay? So now children, you all know that we need uh, how we can get the clean air. How we will get the clean air? How? Tell me. Yes? How? Plants. Okay, you are close to the point. Plants. How plants? Yes, children. Yes. We should grow more plants to keep the air fresh and clean. <coughs> okay? We should. <coughs> we should grow more plants. We should how to keep the air clean? To keep the air clean, we should grow more plants. We should grow more plants. And plants and trees Helps in keeping the air clean. Understood? You all have understood? Plants and trees helps in keeping the air clean. Okay? And if you will breathe clean. You know children, if I will tell you that children, uh, breathe, uh, go, uh, see suppose there is many traffic in the road. Okay, there is many uh, traffic in the road and all the roads are very congested. The smoke is coming out from the vehicles and you are walking on the road. Okay, you are walking on the road. <coughs> you see now that you are breathing very bad air because the bad smoke is coming out from the vehicles. And when you breathe that, uh, when you breathe, you, uh, you say, na, oh, this is a very bad smell. So, you keep your hanky or any cloth in near in your, to cover your nose, right? You keep that. How, why you keep that? So that the bad air doesn't go inside your stomach. Doesn't go and you breathe that bad air. So, it is very bad for our health also. It is very bad for our health. So, uh, suppose I will tell you, you, I will keep you, I will take you to the uh, park and one I will take you in the um, vehicle, road, near the factories or near the road where very uh, traffic is there. So, which air will be good for you to breathe? Which air will be good for you to breathe? Exactly correct. The air which is present in the park, okay, that will be clean and fresh air. That fresh air will be good for our health but when you are uh, breathing in the bad air that will be very bad for us so we should not breathe bad air 
so have you noted down the difference children clean air is good for us and bad air is not good for us if you will breathe bad air suppose for example you have breathed that bad air <coughs> excuse me if you have breathed that bad air what happens you will fall ill you will get fever okay so many your parents will get very uh, uh, that what happened to my uh, children so you should always drink uh, you should always breathe clean air so how to keep the air clean we should plant more trees okay we should plant more trees plants and trees helps in keeping the air clean okay and uh, if you will breathe clean air it will be good for your health okay it will be good for your health and we must drink we we must breathe in fresh and clean air when you get up early in the morning if you are going outside for a morning walk that air will be very good for your health children very good for your health okay when you get up early in the morning you go out to the garden the that the air which is very fresh in the morning is very good for your health and i know that you all get up early in the morning and and breathe that fresh air to become your health good correct yes so and if you are uh, uh, breathing in the bad air if you are breathing in the bad air children okay suppose the breathing dirty air is very bad for your health it may make you ill it may make you ill and you know that uh, when you have went to the factories uh, many chimneys are there na so from the chimneys what comes smoke and the smoke is very bad and the uh, smoke from chimneys the smoke from chimneys cars buses bikes makes the air dirty okay the smoke which is coming out from the cars buses bikes the chimneys the smoke which is coming out from the factories there is a chimney there is a chimney and the smoke which is coming out from the factories that is chimney makes the air dirty and if the air is dirty if you are breathing in you may fall ill children so we should always keep the air clean by planting more plants by growing more plants plants and trees helps in keeping the air fresh have you got it children so everyone will plant more trees na more plants yes you will all grow plants and uh, trees yes because if you will grow plants the air will be clean if you will not grow plants the air will not be clean so you all will promise me that you all will grow plants to make the air clean children have you understood okay now come on everyone take out your revious course book from there we will read and also we will do some class work as well as homework okay come on come on fast 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 take out i hope children you all have take out chapter number 7 page number 57 the topic is clean air okay now see clean air breathing clean air is good for us second is you all know na that breathing clean air will be good for us and breathing bad air will be bad for us so we should always breathe clean air which will be which is good for our us health also plants and trees help in keeping the air fresh and clean as i have already told you that plants and trees help in keeping the air fresh and clean you can see in this picture children the students the children <coughs> along with the their father or any uncle they all are getting early in the morning going to the near park and they all are doing morning walk exercises yoga whatever so they are getting fresh air they are getting clean air to breathe to make their body or to make their health good so we should always breathe clean air to make our health good early in the morning we should get we will get and we are getting fresh and clean air okay now see children second is breathing dirty air is bad for us it can make us ill yes this also mam has told that we will when we will breathe dirty air it will be bad for us and we will get uh, we will fall sick we will make it will make us sick 
smoke from cars buses bikes and factories makes the air dirty whatever does vehicles or either it is a car bus truck bikes factories it will all make the smoke will make the air dirty see in this picture children this boy and this is he's outside okay and that are the factories there's a chimney the smoke is coming out from the chimney and this is a car the smoke is also coming out from the car and you can see that this boy is outside and he's breathing dirty air which is very bad for us so see his face he's so means he's not feeling good he's feeling very bad because he's breathing bad air so we should always always breathe good air okay children now we can see in this summary that qualities of air what were the qualities the qualities where it can be felt it takes up space it has weight three qualities were there now do you remember yes what were the uses of air for breathing air is used filled in tires the air is used drying clothes the air is used filled in balloons when we blow the balloons air is used when the moving things like sailboats air is used flying kites air is used okay children yes so these are the things i've already told you now take out your classwork copy we will give some classwork come on take out now see children in your copy put your today's date chapter 7 air around us write down in the heading and this is your heading write which type of air you breathe in okay you have to write down that which type of air you will breathe in when number 1 you are on road suppose you are on a road which type of air you will breathe in clean or dirty dirty correct so write down in the first blank dirty you all will write down children dirty second one you are in the park this is in children okay you are in the park when you are in the park which type of air you will breathe clean air very good so you will write here clean air okay next third number you are in the market when you are in the market dirty air yes we will breathe dirty air number 4 you living near factory you living near a factory suppose your house is near a factory so which type of air you will breathe there dirty air so you all will write there dirty everyone will write down with the pencil in your copy number 5 you are in the zoo when you are in the zoo which type of air tell me tell me you all will only tell me if you are in the zoo which type of air you will breathe yes clean air very good we will breathe clean air okay clean air so now children write down in your copy take your own time and write down very nicely very nicely you all will write down okay now we will also give you the homework now see children what is the homework choose the correct answer you will choose the correct answer the sentences are written the options are given two options are given and you have to select any one and write down in the blank So see what is number one. Moving air is called dash. Wind smell. Which one will be the correct answer? You will write there. Okay. Second one. Air has dash. Color weight. What does air has? You will write down. Third number. Wind helps in running dash. Wind helps in running dash. Tonga windmill. okay you will choose the answer number 4 dash is needed for burning what do we use for burning water or air yes whatever is the correct answer you will write down number 5 and the last one 
air dash space what does air dash space air occupies space or air does not occupy space you will write the correct answer in all the blanks you will write the correct answer all the children will write this homework in your evs class work copy and do it and you all will do it very sincerely with a very good handwriting okay so i hope you all will write down take your time and copy the questions children nicely write it down okay children so again we will meet with a very new topic new chapter till then stay at home stay safe study well okay and also prepare for your assessment exams okay children bye bye take care